Hello everyone, my name is Ali Akbar. Today I am going to explain to you all about the engine operating cycle of internal combustion engine. In this part of lecture, I am going to explain about the four stroke working cycle of SI and CI engine. The two stroke working cycle of SI and CI engine will be explained in part 2. Now, SI engine as I have explained in my previous lecture requires spark plug and runs on auto cycle. Whereas CI engine doesn't require any spark plug, but instead it uses fuel injector to inject fuel directly at the end of compression stroke and it works on diesel cycle. CI engine uses diesel as fuel whereas SI engine uses petrol as fuel. Now before jumping to the working cycle of SI and CI engine, let us first clear some of the basic terminology which are being used in internal combustion engine. Now first term which is most commonly used is top dead center that is TDC. TDC is the extreme position reached by the piston at the top of the cylinder in the vertical engine. TDC can also be defined as the position of the crank of a reciprocating engine or pump when the piston is at the top of its stroke as we can see in this figure over here. Second term is bottom dead center also known as BDC. BDC is the extreme position reached by the piston at the bottom of the cylinder in a vertical engine. BDC can also be defined as the position of the crank of a reciprocating engine or pump when the piston is at the bottom of a stroke as we can see in this figure over here. Third term is piston stroke. A piston stroke can be simply defined as the distance through which a piston travel from BDC to TDC. The piston travels from TDC to BDC and from BDC to TDC as shown in this figure during four stroke of IC engine. Fourth term is swept volume. It is also known as the displaced volume and it is denoted by either VS or, or by VD. The swept volume is the volume of space generated by the movement of piston from one dead center to another dead center. As shown in this figure, the swept volume is the volume between the TDC and BDC. Fifth term is clearance volume. Clearance volume is nothing but the remaining space in the combustion chamber that is in the cylinder where the piston is at the top dead center. As shown in this figure, the volume above the TDC is known as clearance volume. Next is total volume. Total volume is the maximum volume of a cylinder that is total volume is nothing but the summation of clearance volume and swap volume. Next is the compression ratio represented as RC. Compression ratio is the ratio of the maximum to minimum volume in the cylinder of an internal combustion engine. That is, it is the ratio of total volume to the clearance volume. A high compression ratio is desirable because it allows an engine to extract more mechanical energy from a given mass of an air fuel mixture due to its higher thermal efficiency. This occurs because IC engines are heat engines and higher efficiency is created because higher compression ratio permits the same combustion temperature to be reached with less fuel while giving a longer expansion cycle creating more mechanical power output and lowering the exhaust temperature. I will explain this in more detail in my further lecture. Now moving further, let us first discuss the working cycle of 4 stroke spark ignition that is SI engine. A 4 stroke spark ignition engine is an auto cycle engine. It consists of following 4 strokes, suction or intake stroke, compression stroke, expansion or power stroke and exhaust stroke. Each stroke consists of 180 degree of crankshaft rotation and hence a 4 stroke cycle is completed through 720 degree of crank rotation. Thus for one complete cycle there is only one power stroke while the crankshaft turns by two revolutions. Now for the first stroke that is intake or suction stroke. This stroke starts when the piston is at the top dead center. 
When it moves downward, it will create suction and draws the fuel air mixture into the cylinder. The inlet valve is open at this time and exhaust valve is closed. When the piston reaches at the bottom dead center, the inlet valve closes and the suction stroke ends. It all take pl takes place in 180 degree of the crankshaft rotation. The second stroke is compression stroke. In this stroke, piston starts moving upward. During this stroke, both, both the inlet and exhaust valve are closed. The fuel air mixture is compressed by the upward movement of the piston. This compression squeezes the air and atomized petrol molecule closer together and not only increases the charge pressure in the cylinder but also raises the temperature. Third stroke is power stroke or we can say as expansion stroke. During this stroke, both the inlet and the exhaust valve are closed and just before the piston approaches the top of its stroke during compression, a spark plug ignites the dense combustible charge. By this time, the piston reaches the innermost point of its stroke. The charge mixture begins to burn, generate heat and rapidly raises the pressure inside the cylinder. Due to this high pressure of the burnt cases, the piston moves towards the bottom dead center. This stroke, this stroke produces mechanical work from the engine to turn the crankshaft. Now, fourth stroke is the exhaust stroke. When the piston is at the bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens. As the pressure falls to atmospheric level, the piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center and sweeps the products of discharge out at nearly atmospheric pressure. The exhaust valve closes at the end of exhaust stroke. The gases, are, the gases are not fully exhausted. Some of the burnt gases still remains in the clearance volume. This remaining gases mixes with the fresh fuel air mixture entering the cylinder. Now let us discuss about the working cycle of four-stroke diesel engine. Compressed ignition engine burns fuel that is diesel which is injected into the combustion chamber when the air charge is fully compressed. Burning occurs when the compression temperature of the air is high enough to spontaneously ignite the finely atomized liquid fuel. In other words, burning is initiated by the self-generated heat of compression. Just like four-stroke petrol engine, the CI engine completes one cycle of event in two crankshaft revolution or four piston stroke. The four phases of this stroke are first induction of fresh air, compression and heating of this air, injection of fuel and its burning and expansion and fourth is expulsion of the product of combustion. The first stroke of CI engine is suction stroke uh, or we can say it as an intake stroke. In the suction stroke or intake stroke of diesel engine, the piston starts moving from top end of the cylinder to the bottom end of the cylinder and simultaneously inlet valve opens. At this time, air at atmospheric pressure is drawn inside the cylinder through the inlet valve by a pump. The inlet valve remains open until the press piston reaches the lower end of the cylinder. After that, inlet valve closes and seals the upper end of the cylinder. The second stroke is compression stroke. After the piston passes bottom end of the cylinder, it starts moving up. Both valves are closed and the cylinder is sealed at that time. The piston moves upward. This movement of piston compresses the air into a small space between the top of the piston and cylinder head. The air is compressed into 1 by 22 or less of its original volume. Due to this compression, a high pressure and temperature is generated inside the cylinder. Both the inlet and exhaust valve remains closed. At the end of compression stroke, the piston is at the top end of the cylinder. Now, third is the power stroke. At the end of the compression stroke, 
when the piston is at top end of the cylinder a metered quantity of diesel is injected into the cylinder by the injector the heat of compressed air ignites the diesel fuel and generates high pressure which pushes down the piston the connecting rod carries this force to the crank shaft which turns to move the vehicle at the end of power stroke the piston reaches the bottom end of the cylinder that is piston reaches at the point of bottom dead center as we can see in this video the piston is moving down and this downward motion of the piston provides positive drive energy to rotate the wheel now our fourth stroke is the exhaust stroke when the piston reaches the bottom end of the cylinder after the power stroke the exhaust uh, the exhaust valve opens at this time the burnt gases are present in the cylinder due to which the cylinder pressure is slightly high from atmospheric pressure this pressure difference allows the burnt gas to escape through the exhaust port and the piston move through the top end of the cylinder at the end of exhaust all burnt gases escapes and the exhaust valve is closed as we can see in this video and that's it for today's class thank you very much for being with me till the end i hope you all like this lecture and would have gained some basic information regarding the engine operating cycle my next lecture will be on the working cycle of two stroke si and ci engine please hit the like and subscribe button below and stay connected for the future classes Bye bye see you all again in my next lecture thank you